Hi there, welcome to Imran Kitchen. Today I am going to make Malai Kofta. This is very famous for the vegetarian dish. And there is two versions. Uh, one is like a made with the white sauce, other one is a brown sauce. So today I am making the with the brown sauce and creamy sauce one. So first uh, we need to we need a cheese, boiled potato, and some green peas, and green chili and ginger. So we need to grind it. So let's start the grind the first. You have to put little in here. Don't put too much together. So as I mentioned, I already uh, done the cheese. I show you how to do it. Same thing you have to do on the green peas and potato. Potato is little bit softer. You don't have to too much grind. You can check it after one minute. If it has to be like big chop, you know, not too mashy. So now we'll mix it. So before I mix it, I have to put some spices. We need some salt, like a one teaspoon salt and half teaspoon black pepper. and some kasturi methi the leaves and you have to crush it little bit so we'll mix it little little slowly and also we need to add uh, whipping cream and some people use water uh, if you like because we need to bind it uh, bind like this so cream will help you also binding and also give you the nice taste it is almost less than a quarter cup so i put 2 tablespoon corn starch so i have to mix it so now we are going to start like a, a malai kofta shape so first little bit sprinkle some corn starch on the plate and also you can put some corn starch on top and easy to make binding so some people make round shape i i will make little bit longer shape and at restaurant i make a little bit longer shape like this if you like you can make a round shape also like this So I already preheated the oil on low temperature for the last three minutes. So now I'll increase the flame low to medium. Now temperature I already checked is already perfect. So now I'll put the malai kofta one by one slowly. So you don't have to overcrowd it, otherwise it is going to be when you are moving, then it will be broke. So after one minute, you can take this spatula like a fine one, a little, little. Otherwise, you can wait for one minute. Then after that, you can move it from the bottom, the fine spatula. So I will put the rest of the four pieces. So at the beginning for you guys, you have to wait for one minute, then we can see it start bubbling and then after that you have to shake little little slowly, otherwise it is going to be broke. So you have to be very careful. Give them one minute time, then slowly, you will see automatically it is come up, sometimes it is stick with the pot, so that's why you have to move like this little bit slowly. After one minute, five minutes you can see it will become on top. But you have to cook on low medium heat. So now you can see it's already floated. So now you have to start with the slowly slowly move like this. Then what happen? Color will be equally everywhere because it's moving. All the malai kofta you can see is moving. Then it will fly fry properly. Then you will you will see the color will be everywhere is same color. 
it has to be a little bit golden color so you have to continue stir it you can give them break a little bit like a half uh, half minute then after that you move it so now is ready now i have to take it off So now time to make the sauce. So I already put five tablespoon oil. I already preheated. So the oil is temperature ready. So now I'll put the. This is one large size of the onion, sliced onion. Let's mix it. Now I'll put the. This is two medium sized tomato. So we put together all. Also, this is quantity cashew. I already soak it for one hour, then I already drain. So now we'll put the cashew also. So I have to cook until this onion is become a soft tomato and onion. Then I will start the further process. The onion and tomato is almost cooked. So now we will start the next step. We will put the One tablespoon ginger garlic paste. I will cook it for one minute. So now we put the spices. This is half teaspoon turmeric powder and one tablespoon coriander powder and one teaspoon paprika and one teaspoon chili red chili powder. And one teaspoon salt as test. So we'll mix it. We'll saute like a one minute. So now we'll put some water, like a half cup of water. Because we need some water because there is a cashew also. We have to cook, cook the cashew also. So we need to cook like at least 10 to 15 minutes. Then after that, I'll go for the next process. So masala has been cooking for the last 15 minutes on low medium heat. So now it's ready. So I have to turn off the gas and I will keep it. You don't have to dry too much. Has to be a little bit runny like this. Then we have to wait for the cool down. Then I'll go for the final process. Sauce is almost cool down. So now I have to make the puree. So we'll put slowly, slowly. So sauce is ready. So now we'll put the start the finalize. So I already preheated the pan. I will put some two tablespoon butter. We have to wait for the until it is melt down. So butter is almost melt. So now we'll put the some kasturi methi at the crush one. Just two pinch. And it uh, will be roasted. Then we give you the nice flavor. So now we'll put the all the puree. We have to put the flame on low because it sometimes come out. You can put some water. Uh, You can use the. You don't want to waste. So now increase the flame low to medium. We have to wait until it's boiled. Then we'll go for the final process. 
so yet it has been cooking for the last five minutes now you can see it's already cooked so now we'll put some half teaspoon garam masala and we'll put some quarter cup of whipping cream full cream this is up to you if you want it more creamy you can add more cream or if you don't want a uh, too much creamy you can cut down the cream it's up to you Sauce is ready. I have to turn off the gas. Now I'll go for the presentation.